Namaskar. I would like to discuss a topic of great interest for anyone interested in living a quality life. And of course, for us, the highest quality life that one can live embodies yogic principles. As yogis, we see the material world as divided into three categories, tamas, rajas, and sattvas. Tamas, the lowest, dull, inert, lazy, heaviness that one can feel or experience. Rajas, energetic, movement, accomplishment. And sattvas, quiet, cool, collected, and calm. Now, I think we all have the experience of waking up in the morning and feeling a great heaviness, mm -hmm. just feeling, I don't want to get out of bed. Well, we would say this is our tamas. It's inertia. We have things in yoga that can help us break through that inertia, get ourselves moving, and so at least the rajasic, sattvic qualities can start to flow. Normally, we will turn this type of activity as jati. Jati simply means a movement. Now, when we wake in the morning, our natural tendency is to stretch, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Now in yoga, we are going to take advantage of this natural impulse to get out of bed and stretch. So take your hands over the head. Just as though you were making a big stretch, clasp your fingers and give a stretch up, just like you were waking up and giving a good stretch. And then open your mouth wide and take the breath in and out as though you were giving a big yawn. And just move around a little bit, circling the hips and keeping the idea of stretching there. And giving another stretch with a firm foot position and then letting the hands come down to the ground, oh, to the side. I even felt a big click in my back there, it was <laughs> already stretching out. Yes, wow. it's a very good spinal exercise, that traction. Yeah. that we need on the spine to pull the bones apart. Yeah. Now, one way to help get rid of this inertia is to become quite active. So let us shake a hand, shake one hand, and just shake it loosely first. Just a loose shaking. And then increase the speed of the shaking. And then a very rapid shake. My hand's not going to fall off, is it? <laughs> no, it won't fall <laughs> off. Never has so far. <laughs> and then the left side. Just a good shake, and then both hands. We like to say in yoga, shake and wake. So we're waking ourselves up out of tamas and coming into at least a rajasic state. Now when we shake, we also loosen. And so let us say that we have loosened up some very negative thoughts or laziness, and let's catch hold of those negative things and throw them away. Again, a good shake, catching hold and loosening up negative tendencies, laziness, and throw it out. And let the arms swing a little bit. The swinging is more of a relaxing movement. The shaking is waking, the swinging is relaxing. We'll find that our movements also have emotional valences, and we can help rise above certain emotional feelings that may be bogging us down through different types of movements. Do a little bit of rounding of your arm and then the opposite way and then the left side and then both sides. Again a good shake and a whooshing out of the breath. Wow, I'm all tingly. <laughs> but I, f I feel like I've got a bit of tightness in my face. Is there anything I can do to get rid of that? Yes, just take your hands and tap your face like this. Sometimes we wake up with a bit of a tension-filled face, especially if we have a lot of worries. We just go like that and cross your hands and tap. And again across, waking. Another way to wake up the face. And again a shake and a quick throw out. 
Now, you might have asked, why are we doing this whooshing sound? Well, when we expel the air, as you well know, the carbon dioxide has to come out on the exhalation. When we use the diaphragm actively and we whoosh the air out with a great burst of energy, it is as though we intensify the natural tendency of the body to expel carbon dioxide from the bloodstream. So using the diaphragm, that's like sucking in your stomach? No, it's more of a pushing down and pushing out. This is called bastrika, and you know what a bellows is. Mm. In Sanskrit, we call this a bastrika, where an instrument where the air comes out forcibly. So let us take our breath in the nose and blast it out the mouth. You can put your hands at the diaphragm to help give awareness of the role of the diaphragm in this. Take your breath in. Whoosh out. In. Out. Out. Mm. It's yeah, very refreshing, it isn't it? All closing in. Mm -hmm. So uh, these are some very simple ideas that when we feel lethargic and want to stay in bed and know that it would be better if we got out, we'd feel much better if we woke up and did something. You just say, all right, I'll get out of bed, I'll do my jatis, and then I'll jump back in again. So I should do this routine every morning? Yes, you right. jump out of bed, do your jatis, but you're not going to feel like jumping back in again. And no the way. day gets off to a terrific start. Thank you. Namaskar. Namaskar.